Hey y'all, it was a wild and crazy day in the studio. Pull up a chair, watch what I got accomplished in the first time lapse. And after that, I'm gonna tell you all about what this project is and where it's headed in the next month. So stay tuned. I'm really excited about the progress that I made in this studio today. I am building a solo show for next month at Sophiella Gallery in Mobile, Alabama. And the title is Ardithian Energy. So what on earth does that mean conceptually? Well, I'm a painter, I paint, but I'm also a creative writer and I'm building this children's book project that is full of this amazing place, this land of Ardithian world that I'm that I've built. I've written stories about them, um, there's characters, but one of the biggest visual elements in the entire world is the concept of energy. And in the land of Ardithian, energy is visual, it has structure. They see it and they understand its differences. In our world, we know that it exists, right? We know that the impact of it and we feel different types of energy, but our air is transparent. We don't really see it more than we see the effects of it. So I put my imagination to free reign and I created this world in my head where you see different types of energy with the eyes of the characters and the organisms. So the show that I'm building is an abstract show. It's not representational except for it does represent energy. But the energy that I'm building is all imaginary. Each of the different canvases that you see here represent a different place in the land of Ardithian. And as you journey into the different places, the energy visually changes. One of the core tenets in my story is the natural world is to be respected. And in the land of Ardithian, the energy will play a big role as to what happens to the characters how they move through it and what visually it looks like. So as I'm beginning to build this show, what you see here are the underpaintings, the very first layers for how these paintings will begin. And they're very specific with the characteristics of what the energy looks like. So on each side, you see those long white strips of paper. Those help me rein in my focus because my brain is kind of all over the place, but I've already identified in each place what type of energy it is and what is the physical structure and the color and how it moves and what it does. So those are lists of what I call North Stars or visual indicators to help me stay focused and remember so that I'm working smarter, not harder, because I'm on a deadline to build this show. Um, I'm so excited about how it's evolving and the ideas that I have. This is the first solo show that will start rolling out for this next year. I have four scheduled between now and a year from October. So this first show is all about Ardithian Energy. And then in November, I head to Oklahoma City 
at North Gallery well, where I have a show that introduces 12 of the characters in small format um, that exist in the land of Ardithian which will be quite a right of a show. And then in May, I head to Kentuck in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and I introduce one of the character sets called the Aquitarians. And they are a set of characters in the world that exist with dynamic energy in sports and being athletes and how that moves and is dynamic abstractly with a resonance of figure and character. And then next October, here in Mobile, Alabama, the huge opening of the Land of Ardithian book, the book project, uh, launches, and I have a tremendous solo show at Mobile Arts Council, and that is going to be where the large paintings and the characters in the settings and the structures of the fauna and um, buildings and what this world actually looks like along with the characters is going to take place. It is a tremendous project to take on but I've had this idea rolling around in my head for the last 20 years and I finally made a commitment last year that I would make room to build this project out and finally see it come to fruition because it's one of those big dreams and visions I have as a creative human being and as a painter and as a writer because my first love before I ever picked up a paintbrush was creative writing when I taught the littles. It's been a good day in the studio. I've had to lot, a lot to think about. It's been a physically demanding day simply from moving all of this around and getting my base coats on. But this is how working in multiples and building a show looks like in my world. And over the next couple of days and weeks, you'll see how these paintings all evolve and October 1, they'll head to the gallery and the show opens next month. I'm so excited. I do hope y'all will pull up a chair and cheer me on to see how it evolves. I'll be sharing more here on my YouTube channel. And if you have questions about the whole process, definitely reach out to me. I love to talk about it. It's exciting for me.